good morning friends today we are going to study the examples on henry's law this is my sixth lecture on the same topic solution so first i read the problem the solubility of nitrogen gas in water at 25 degrees celsius and 1 bar is 6.85 to 10 raise to 4 mole per liter calculate first it is a Henry's law constant and second B molarity of nitrogen gas dissolved in water under atmospheric condition when partial pressure of nitrogen in atmosphere is 0.75 bar. So first step after reading carefully the example first you have to write the given data from that problem one by one. So first example I will write given whatever given values they are given so first you write see here. the solubility of nitrogen gas in water at 25 degrees Celsius and 1 bar is 6.85 to 10 to 4 mole per liter means nitrogen gas in water solubility of nitrogen gas in water is given this value and it is mole per liter mole per liter this is the solubility so s is given s is equal to 6.85 8 5 into 10 raised to 4 mole per liter isn't it next actually pressure is also given 1 bar and 25 degrees Celsius temperature is also temperature is not necessary in Henry's law isn't it we studied already because it is the relation between pressure and solubility temperature is uh, not a factor uh, responsible in that case one so you have to calculate Henry's law constant Henry's law constant so k h is the Henry's law constant and second means actually it is small a and small b we have to calculate that is the after reading the example molarity of nitrogen gas dissolved in water under atmospheric condition molarity we have to calculate capital M or we write simply molarity molarity isn't it when partial pressure of nitrogen in atmosphere is 0 0.75 bar so P is there, P is there, 0 0.75 bar, 0 0.75 bar, isn't it? So, for the first step, you have to calculate the, before that, you see here, uh, A calculation now, to calculate, to calculate KH, that is Henry's law constant, Henry's law constant, the, we use the, formula Henry's law according to Henry's law we know that it is a s is equal to k h into p s is equal to k h into p now see here solubility is given s is given s is given and see the how to calculate in first step Henry's law constant k h k h and p is given mentioned here actually for the first case for the first case it is 1 bar so we have to write the in first step p is 1 bar first step first step madhe pressure je dilela hai te 1 bar and second step mujhe molarity calculate karna hai sathi je pressure dilela hai je vichar lela ja pressure la te 0.75 bar hai so so p is 1 bar and solubility is see this one given 6.85 so we have to calculate kh so after rearranging kh is equal to s divided by p i will write the values along with the unit for the better understand s is given here 6.85 into 10 raise to 4 mole per liter mole per liter divided by pressure is given in one bar one bar isn't it so if you solve this if you solve this again it comes the same answer 6.85 into 10 raise to 4 mole per liter and this bar is in per bar per bar so this is the first value of the problem that is a kh we calculate value of kh here this kh is 6.85 into 10 raise to 4 mole per liter per bar mole per liter per bar isn't it so second b point we have to calculate is to calculate to calculate what molarity 
calculate molarity. Now see, molarity in the sense, molarity is expressed in mole per liter or gram per liter. Mole per liter or gram per liter, that is number of moles of solute dissolved in 1000 ml of solution or 1 dm cube of solution. 1 dm cube of solution in the sense unit of molarity is mole per dm cube or other than or mole per liter these are the units either mole per dm cube or mole per liter now if you carefully observe what is the unit of s 6.85 10 to 4 mole per liter so this solubility and molarity solubility and molarity have both both have same meaning and actually we have to calculate same that is molarity is nothing but we have to calculate solubility of that nitrogen gas at this pressure at this pressure isn't it we have to calculate molarity in the sense solubility calculate molarity in the sense solubility so for again we have to use henry's law that is s is equal to kh into p so to calculate s is equal to kh into p solubility but we have to calculate this solubility at the partial pressure 0.75 r at partial pressure 0.75 r isn't it hmm. uh, we first in first case we calculate the henry's law constant at this pressure at this pressure now we have to calculate the solubility of nitrogen gas at the 0.75 bar but whatever the pressure may changes okay but the gas is the same the gas that we are going to dissolve is the nitrogen gas and the henry's law constant kh is the constant for that given particular gas henry's law constant is the constant for that given particular gas so in this case to calculate yes we have to know these two quantities kh and p p is already given it is 0.75 bar and kh we calculate in the first step that is this kh is so just substitute the values and directly calculate s so s is equal to kh means 6.85 into 10 raised to 4 mole per liter per bar multiplied by multiplied by p is the partial pressure p is the partial pressure it is 0 0.75 0 0.75 bar isn't it so per bar and bar cancel left unit left is mole per dm cube sorry or mole per liter mole per liter it is the solubility and after calculating this we will get the value that is 5.1375 into 10 raised to 4 mole per liter it is the solubility of nitrogen gas in water at this pressure at this pressure so the question asks for two marks one mark is for calculation of kh and second mark is for calculation of solubility second mark is for calculation of so there is a molarity there is a molarity if they ask the molarity you have to mention your molarity that is the last you came right in this way that is molarity that is molarity of nitrogen gas in water molarity of nitrogen gas in water under atmospheric condition under atmospheric condition is right is 5.137 into 10 raised to 4 mole per liter you write in this way here also there is the Henry's law constant is this cage okay. so this is the first problem example we covered isn't it? No, second example, you see. Second example. The Henry's law constant of methyl bromide is 0.159 mole per liter per bar. It is Henry's law constant is given in the sense kh at 25 degrees Celsius. Isn't it? What is the solubility of methyl bromide in water at 25 degrees Celsius and at pressure 130 millimeter of mercury? At pressure 130 millimeter of mercury so it is direct substitution but there is a one uh, we have to need the conversion of unit because if you carefully observe the units here the partial pressure is given in the unit millimeter of mercury millimeter of mercury it is the unit of pressure and henry's law constant kh pressure in the henry's law constant kh is mentioned in bar so we have to convert this millimeter of mercury into bar convert this millimeter of mercury into bar so before that we have to write first given data so here given first second example second example right given 
given now see given the henry's law constant of methyl bromide isn't it so henry's law constant in the sense kh it is given 1 sorry 0.159 mole per liter per bar mole per liter per bar at 25 degrees celsius not necessary to mention temperature what is the solubility of methyl bromide in water at 25 degrees celsius and at pressure 130 what is the solubility in the sense s you have to calculate and at pressure in the sense p is given 130 mm of hg millimeter of mercury means we have to calculate simply solubility of methyl bromide in water at this temperature and given value of kh is this given value of kh is this means the direct substitution but there is one conversion factor okay so first we have to convert this millimeter of mercury pressure into bar into bar means how much 130 millimeter of mercury means corresponds to how much bar how much bar we have to convert this question mark so for the conversion of this conversion of this now see here we know that we know that one atmosphere one atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeter of mercury 760 millimeter of mercury we know that millimeter of mercury so first we have to convert this 130 millimeter of mercury into atmosphere therefore therefore 130 mm of hg corresponds to how much atmosphere corresponds to how much atmosphere so if you convert this if you convert this it is Uh, cross multiplying. If you cross multiplying, then simply cross multiplying. One thirty mm of Hg multiplied by one atmosphere. Cross multiplying. Divided by seven sixty. Divided by seven sixty mm of Hg. So millimeter of mercury, millimeter of mercury cancel. Unit left is atmosphere. Unit left is atmosphere. And simply if you calculate, the answer comes out to be. It is point one seven one zero atmosphere. Point one seven one zero atmosphere. Point one seven one zero atmosphere. Here, brother, answer all the questions are the atmosphere. Sorry, take sheet this millimeter of mercury. Means atmosphere. Means it is point one seven one zero atmosphere. Now we have to convert this atmosphere. Now we have to convert this atmosphere into bar. And for that purpose, conversion factor is one atmosphere. One atmosphere is equal to one point zero one three. Two bar, one two bar. So for that purpose, here therefore, point one seven one zero atmosphere, atmosphere corresponds to how much bar? So again, just cross multiply, point one seven one zero atmosphere multiplied by one point zero one three two bar divided by it is one atmosphere, one atmosphere. Sorry. One atmosphere. So if you calculate this one, so atmosphere, atmosphere cancel, and if you calculate this one, the final answer point one seven six four point one seven six four bar bar. It is the unit left. So finally we convert the one thirty millimeter of mercury into point one seven six four bar. It is point one seven six four bar. Isn't it? Down. This is the next step. Is very easy. According to Henry's law, it is the solubility S is equal to K H into P. K H into P. We have to calculate solubility. Given value of K H is 0.159 mole per liter per bar. Mole per liter per bar. So given value of K H is 0.159 mole per liter per bar multiplied by pressure. That is, we converted 130 millimeter of mercury into bar. It is 0.1764, 0.1764 bar, isn't it? So this per bar and bar cancel. And if you calculate this one, the final answer comes out to be 0.0127. It is mole per liter, mole per liter. It is the solubility. It is the solubility. Isn't it? Actually, in textbook, this multiplication, multiplication is incorrect in textbook. In textbook, it is given point twenty, point twenty seven. It is point not 
27 mole per liter okay so you write the finally that is the therefore solubility solubility of methyl bromide methyl bromide in water at 25 degrees celsius and at pressure 130 mm hg is how much this 0.27 mole per liter is correct okay so in next lecture we see more examples on the same henry's law okay bye